what's up lavish luxies it's alicia welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a review on um this ball main item that i have so it's the ball main bebo sneakers so i got these sneakers um last year in like december of 2021 um, but i only recently wore them like maybe like two weeks ago um so i had a chance to wear them so i'll be able to tell you guys about the comfort and things of that nature so i'm, I'm gonna bring them out um now so i got these on sale I love me a good sale because never pay retail um and so they were i forgot how much i paid i think they were half off or maybe some somewhere around that half of a retail maybe it was last year during their ball main sale and so they usually do have an end of a year sale most fashion houses do um at the end of their you know their their you know fashion week 22 week fashion week 21 you know sale whatever so these are them and i saw these and i was like oh my gosh these are so cute they look super comfortable like you could i think you could dress them up you could dress them down so that's why i really wanted them um and they're like so they're super cute they're super cute um so this is them so it has the um there's a balmain here along the lace um these are like a sock sneaker so um these laces they do um actually loosen them so all of these crisscross these were like all the way up to the top and they made it really tight so I, it was really hard for me to get my foot in them um so i ended up lifting this up and then stretching out the laces so i could be able to get my feet in them and that worked out okay but they still are pretty hard to put on uh, so this is the bottom the side of the shoe i like this a lot because they because they're they're so unique um and there's a ball man here at the back and then there's a beef for ball man here at the side and let's see i got these in a 39 which is a us 9 thankfully that i did because they do fit I found like some most European shoes for me run a little small so I do usually try to size up regardless of what reviews say um but I still take like into consideration what the reviews say as well because depending on the sneaker they or the shoe they might run big um but then I I got these a little larger um and I'm not sure if these come in half sizes or not I'll figure out put that down below because i usually like i said i usually wear like a 38 38.5 39 some shoes that even cut so small in european sizes for me that i would even wear 40 like my louis vuitton um desert platform booties um yeah i had to get those on a 40 so sometimes they are cut really small uh so this is the other sneaker and that does have a b right there yeah. super cute um as far as the fit um the 39 fit just fine i do have extra room um because these are like a really thick uh like a sneaker sock i don't wear like thick sneaker um excuse me socks with them uh so i just like wore like a thin ankle sock and that was fine um the the weight they're not too heavy like they look heavy because they're so chunky but they're not really that heavy um i'll put down in the description um how much they weigh and let you guys know um on my feet they they felt i want to say on my feet they felt a little heavy i think because i just needed to get used to walking in them like because most sh like sneakers and shoes that i wear don't have this um oddly shaped uh a heel or oddly shaped toe um this extra it's like extra height here so i think i just had to get used to walking in them and so as i wore them throughout the night i actually got more comfortable in them and um was when i first put them on i felt like oh these you know this feels weird um but throughout the night it was like it was perfect so i do find them to be pretty comfortable um the only thing is it was it like i said before it's kind of hard to get my feet in them um that was like my only thing it was just hard to get my feet in because i had to remove these laces i needed to, needed to stretch these laces out to be able to get my foot in them and that that i mean it helped to get my foot in but that doesn't mean it's any less harder to get my my foot like in the sneaker they it still is a challenge to get my foot in the sneaker but it's worth it i love them i love them i love them i love them um I actually like Balmain as a brand, as a fashion house. I really do like um, 
they're this is not my first pair of Balmain sneakers i do have another pair of Balmain sneakers um they're like a sock sneaker as well um i had those for maybe like three years but i think i've only worn them like twice so i'll probably do a review on those they're like in a um like a ro like a soft pink color and they have like a ball main strap around the around the front and like those are super cute and very comfortable as well so that's why i was like oh i'm gonna get these because i'm sure that they're comfortable in which they were uh, so um i actually got um also during this sale um a b buzz bag so i bought the b bold sneakers which are these and then i had the b buzz bag and i'm going to do a separate video about my b buzz bag that I actually bought intentionally to go with these sneakers because i thought they weren't perfect so i'm going to show you guys the b buzz bag and so my b buzz bag first of all it came in a huge box this box is huge yeah it's huge um but i'll show you guys all that box for this bag so, here she is all right so this is my b buzz ball main bag it has fringe details was super cute with these sneakers which was the intention and i did wear them together um so i'm gonna do another video about my feedback about this bag um i had a small issue with this bag so i bought this bag the same time that i bought these sneakers but like i said i bought them december 2021 it's now um november of 2022 and i didn't wear them until november 2022 i didn't wear the bag or the shoes until november 2022 so i had these items for almost a year before i bought them out and i wore them right and so i had a small issue with the strap on this bag which i'm going to go into it on the next video but overall if you just want like a quick synopsis on this bag love it it's probably going to be one of my, the, my favorite bags in my ba in my collection. Honestly, it's going to be one of my favorites, uh, regardless of the issue that I ran into with the bag. But watch my next video about the B Buzz bag, and I'll let you guys know what um, issue I ran into. But I would do, I do, I'm not saying I don't recommend this fashion house. Not saying I don't recommend you buying this bag. Definitely buy. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, but uh, in my next video, you guys, I'll let you know what happened with the strap on this bag. Okay. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the sneakers, um, please let me know down below. Any questions about the bag, you let me know down below. Be able, um, Stay tuned to my channel for my video about the Balmain Bebas bag. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this content, please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Bye.